Julie asks, what is the ideal bedtime for a child who has to wake at 7 a.m.? And how much does going off schedule at breaks affect them? The way to understand the ideal bedtime for your child is to perform an experiment. Track their sleep for two weeks and get an average of the number of hours slept per night over the two-week period. If that number was, say, 10 hours, then you would want to make sure that the bedtime allows for 10 hours of sleep before waking is required. Count back 10 hours from 7 a.m. and you have a bedtime of 9 p.m. Long holiday breaks are actually a great time to get a feel for what your child's natural number may be because your schedule is less demanding. It can be okay for kids to get a little off schedule over breaks, but you have to remember that it will take them at least four days to adapt to the new schedule. So you would want them to start their school schedule at least one week before they have to go back to school. If the school break is one week or less, you're much better off keeping the same schedule.